This game is against the Zerg player Just with 2333 three, three points, 786 wins, and 714 losses. And here we go. We've got a Zerg versus Zerg for you. What the heck is he doing? Oh my gosh. He is not even at the computer. Uh, <laughs> he's not mining anything at all. Um, meanwhile, I am. I'm the blue Zerg in the right, and he is the red Zerg at the top. I don't know if he knows how long he's been missing, but in a mirror matchup, um, you kind of want to make drones right away. Wow, that's, that's too funny. He's only one harvester down. It looks like he's actually stopped producing drones. And, you know, on Scrap Station, when you're one harvester down, you don't really need to, like, feel like you have to go all in or something, but I think... He might think he's further behind than he actually is, and so he's going to try for a 7 pool on Scrap Station. We are sending our Overlords, and okay, in this game I was curious, I was wondering why my Overlord was so much faster than his, and it looks like he was just AFK for the beginning of the game, so he is going a 7 pool. I, however, am not going a 7 pool, I'm getting my Overlords, the, my Overlord just got three more drones. And this is going to be actually extremely easy to defend, especially since he put the pool right here. If you're ever going to try for some kind of cheese, Put the pool on the opposite side of where you're going to be scouted first. See, I see this. I know I can't go <clears throat> a quick hatch, which is a, a pretty popular strat strategy in Zerg versus Zerg. And so I do throw that down that pool right away. I recognize that it's a 7 pool. And I'm going to be able to defend this just fine. This is such a long map to travel uh, through ground. And I don't know why he would do this, man. He wasn't that far behind. He was one harvester behind, and he's just like panicking, and he just wants to go for an all-in cheese type of play, and it's just not going to work. If we look at the harvester count, 15 versus 6. My 15 drones alone could kill his 6 ling. His 6 lings are just popping. I'm going to be making mine. Zerglings are what? What's the uh, duration of Zerglings? 24 seconds. So he has to get across the map in less than 24 seconds, and that's just not going to happen. So, uh, oh, okay, here we go. He was AFK at the start of the game. I didn't, uh, I didn't see that. You know what? I think I actually have him blocked from a previous game. Yeah, he was AFK, but you weren't AFK that long, Justin. He is trying to throw down the spy. I'm going to off about four drones. I do have my geyser and take care of that spine. He does cancel. He's going to drop a spine of my home just because I did see his drones travel down with the overlords. And I noticed he's an all-in, so I need to prevent this spine while also preventing the Zerglings from uh, preventing me from preventing the spine. So I'm going to do that, and you're going to see here, <clears throat> let me slow down a little bit. I need to focus the spine with about half my army and take care of this link with the other half. So that's what I'm going to do. Five drones from the spine, and the drones are going to be killing the uh, Zerglings too. We can make clean as well, rallying the Zerglings, and also a spine So it looks like he's not that spine does go down the other it's so easily. But, you know, this was just kind of a, a lesson, <laughs> uh, because I, I'm sure a lot of us have been AFK, or a lot of us have, you know, messed up an early build, or accidentally not, not built the drone when you start out, and so you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so far behind, I'm just gonna, you know, do a cheese build and hope it works, and try to make up for it that way. But you don't need to do that. Um, yeah, this was a short game, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I just want to share a silly little ZVZ on Scrap Station, so that's it. Thanks for watching.